got to be quick by bringing the hands back this way, and then we're going to have a hard time making a clean, uh, 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 clean transfer, okay? So I'm not going to break down exactly how we deflect, but I do want your hands to be close to each other, so when we deflect, it's right here. See how close my hands are? All I'm doing, put your glove like this for a second. Put it up, put it up, right. face me. Right. And I want you to turn these three fingers in with the wrist side. Turn it in. There, there. See how that works? Okay, so when you toss the middle, toss the here. When you toss the ball, it's gonna pop right out. See how that works? All I have to do is have my right hand next to it, and it pops right to my throwing hand, okay? This takes a little bit of practice, but if you squeeze the glove, then the tendency is to swing the glove, I mean, swing the glove to the, uh, to the throwing hand. Does that make sense? So at first, you're gonna be a little nervous, so you may end up squeezing it, which is okay. But what I do want is to transfer, if you squeeze the ball, I want you to transfer it to center. Bring it to your throwing hand, center, and then pull back. Don't bring both hands back this way. Everybody got it? Okay, when we put it together, this right knee is gonna come up when a good throw. We always expect, what can I throw? Bad throws. What kind of throws? Bad, bad throws. Bad throws. Bad. We always expect good throws, right? No. No. Bad throws. I want to see if you zone that. Okay? Bad throws, good throws, it's a lot easier. Okay? You want me to make a bad throw? Yep. Over there. Go ahead. Step out, and then I go. I never lose posture. I never lose control. Okay? So we're going to work on the good throw right now, but we're going to expect what kind of throw? Bad. Bad throw. Okay? So when I say bring your knee up, it means up, and as it's coming down, you open up this one. Michael, come over here. This is the last thing I'm going to say on this, okay? Come over here on this side. Come over here on this side. I don't know you. Come over here on this side. Okay, you're going to slide easy, okay? There's the main thing that I, I have to, I want, I want infields to pay attention. Normally, when we land with the front foot closed, go ahead and slide into me. Somebody happens to slide back in there, go ahead and hit me. Hit me. Boom, there goes my knee. Right? I've seen it happen before, it's pretty disgusting. Okay, yeah. so now, if I open open up my toes towards the target, hit me, oh, I'm able to jump out of the way with the hits, okay? If I land, close my front foot, ah, there goes my knee. Ain't I always down yeah. in the hospital? Yeah. Yes? No, yes? So when you land, what do you want your front foot to be? Open, pointing towards the target, open. Go ahead, hit me. So oh, I'm able to jump out of the way. Hurt. I'm not saying it's not gonna hurt. You got a better chance of saving it. Got it? Because if it happens too quick, you cannot trust the runner. It's going to be sliding nice and pretty. Okay? Every now and then, they may slide, trip, and end up somehow on your knee. Yeah. Got it? So, we're going to split up. Down the ball first. Hey guys, more Style Baseball here. If you're interested in infield camp or team infield camp around the nation, just shoot me a text at 251 509 38 one five. Or you can also email me at moistyle33 at gmail.com. Keep it moist out.